examples of those two methods here. At the top of the screen, we have an assembly connector with the ball and cup notation that represents the interface through which component 1 and component 2 interact. And at the bottom of the screen, the interface is represented in a classifier box and component 1 and component 2 are connected to the interface using realization and dependency arrows. There's another method that we'll look at in this movie. You can list the components required and provided interfaces inside the classifier that represents the component. And this can come in handy if you want to model a high-level view that stresses the dependencies among components. So you would do that by taking your classifier box to represent the component as you see here with the name in the top compartment and then you can add compartments to show other aspects of that component. So in the second compartment you would list provided interfaces and required interfaces. You may not have examples of both. Notice that the keywords provided interfaces and required interfaces are stereotypes enclosed in the GMA or double angle bracket symbols. In addition, you can add a third compartment where you would list the component's artifacts. Now what's an artifact? Well, an artifact is a physical file, such as a JAR or DLL file, that actually implements the component. So you can include that as well in your component classifier. And here's an example of what that might look like. Here we have a component called Client Management, and it has both provided interfaces and required interfaces, one of each. The provided interface is Client Services. The required inter interface is User Authentication. And its artifact is Client Management.jar. So that fills in the different categories that you can put in the compartments in a component classifier box. And once you've done that, you can draw a diagram that emphasizes the dependencies. In this example, there's a component called Order System, and that has two required interfaces, Customer Lookup and Product Lookup. Now we can see over here in the Customer Database that this component realizes one of those required interfaces, Customer Lookup, so the order system is dependent on the Customer Database component. And similarly, the Inventory System realizes the required Product Lookup interface required by the order system. And we also have the files, the artifacts listed, that these two components need, Customer Database.jar and Inventory System.jar. So you can see how this style of notation for a component diagram emphasizes the dependencies among the actual components. This style gives a relatively high-level view that lets you look at and manage the system's configuration, watching out for possible deployment issues. As you can see, this style shows you which components and artifacts, those files you need to implement the components, are necessary when the system is deployed.